If you've never been to a county fair, you should go. You'll see lots of animals and witness young people building character. This is behind the scenes at the Jackson County Fair. People who have cared for and trained these animals are getting them ready to compete. On this day, when the temperature was over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, I'm sure the animals appreciated the cool shower. Both the goats and this steer wagon his tail in pleasure. All this care and preparation lead to showing the animals to judges. This boy showing his sheep. One of the most active groups in animal competition is the 4-H Club. Jackson County 4-H Director Ann Manlove says that all this hard work often leads to higher self-esteem for the kids who undertake this considerable challenge. Right, and I tell that to leaders at leader training. Kids don't gain self-esteem because you tell them they're great. They gain self-esteem because they set their sights on a goal and they take inc incremental steps to reach that goal. And when they see that they've accomplished it, it is a tremendous builder for them. And I'm thinking, uh, in addition to that, in, in just the building of character, Yes. Uh, these are competitive events where they're showing their animals. Yes. So it appeals to, appears to me that someone could really put in a lot of work, a lot of care, and they're not the one that gets their blue ribbon. So what a great life lesson, it seems to me, is that there's still value in the effort, but it doesn't mean it always turns out with you on top of the pyramid. We talk to people about the value of, of learning to win and lose, and that there's a grace in that, that you do work. And, you know, there's always going to be somebody that has more money that might be able to buy a better animal or have, you know, better accoutrements, let's say, of the profession, but in the end, it is the work. It's the work ethic. It's the responsibility. That's what we're trying to develop. It, it isn't about the win. Along with 4-H, you'll see members of the FFA at the fair. FFA stands for Future Farmers of America. Both organizations involve taking on responsibility and forming a connection to the animals they raise and show. These events develop skills that are tied to animals. Ann Manlove notes that the 4-H teaches these skills through a hands-on approach. Well, they say kids only retain 10% of what they read, 20% of what they hear, 30% of what they see. And so it's when they're doing it and saying it that they really learn, they, they have the most learning take place. And so by putting kids in the role where they also then are teaching, which is a, a very important piece of our 4-H clubs, you know, where the older kids are teaching the younger kids, then they really learn that, those materials and, and those skills. Manlove made her comments on adventures in education on RVTV. You can't start too young to learn caring for animals. Local businesses meet that effort with their support. Entering this large arena at the Jackson County Fair, we see a competition in progress that's involved in horseback riding with challenges in controlling the horse. Let's watch this rider do the entire circuit. The horse doesn't seem crazy about stepping on that wooden platform, but he persists and look what happens. In the lower corner of the screen you can see the judges seated in the white chairs.
He has to set the yellow bucket on the second barrel. Now he gets the horse to weave in and out of these orange cones. Apparently the rider wasn't able to unlatch the rope on the first try. But he persists, and he finishes the course. It's that kind of persistence that not only gets a good score, but builds character. And Manlove of 4-H says that building character this way not only benefits the child, there's something in it for the whole community. And it's knowing that in our community, you take one kid at a time, but those kids move into our communities, and they're going to be the people that you know, pay taxes and have jobs and, and serve in leadership roles. And so it's just a critical thing to be developing our kids.